welcome to Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services, Private Limited. I'm Lieutenant Colonel J.S. Weir, Certified Welding Inspector from American Welding Society, U.S. Today, we'll be discussing the standard ISO 3834 version 2021, which is regarding the quality requirement for fusion welding of metallic material. Just to intimate everybody that Eurotech assessment and certification services is authorized certification body to provide certification services to the company who are seeking ISO 3834 certification in India or any place abroad. So let's discuss what is ISO 3834. ISO 3834 is an international standard that ensures quality is built into the welding process. It's mostly about the quality one, so that manufacturers of a metal work don't have to rely on inspections and testing to know that the finished article is fit for the purpose. ISO 3834 has been written to complement ISO 9001, which is a very famous international standard, rather than to replace. That is, means it's not to replace ISO 9001, but to complement and support it. ISO 3834 has been adopted as a compulsory supportive standard for every factory production control and CE marking of the structural metalwork EN 1090 Part 1. So let's discuss what are the parts of ISO 3834. It has got five parts. The first part is the guide for the selection of the quality requirements. And what are these quality requirements? These are two, three, and four are the quality requirements. First, what is the uh, part two? It's a comprehensive quality requirement. It includes everything. Then is a little less, which is has got the standard quality. And finally, the basic quality, which is the minimum quality requirement. And fifth is basically regarding the documentation for all this process. So that means number one is deciding that the three quality requirements, which are comprehensive, standard, and basic, which has to be applied to the any company who is seeking the certification of ISO 3834. Which part of the standard will be applicable to the production? So ISO 3834 uh, has got three different levels. We have already seen comprehensive, standard, and basic. The expert, the inspector, the experts will advise which level is the most appropriate for your business. That means it is not sacrosanct that you have to apply two, three, or four. It is the experts who will see the organization, carry out the spot inspection, and then he will decide which part is to be applied. Who does the ISO 3834 apply? It means it's applicable to whom? The standard applies to fabrication, structural, metal work by welding, all those companies who apply and they have got the system of fabricating the structural metal work by welding. If it is going to go for a sale. Otherwise, even if it is, they are not going to go for a sale and uh, they don't fabricate the structural work, they still become certified to demonstrate the best workshop practices to their clients. How do I comply? The certification body vary from approach uh, EN 1090 part one, that which is standard testing and certification. In some of the cases, some verify the welding quality management system, which is a part and parcel of EN 1090, and issue a single certificate. And like us, we also issue a single certificate for, which is, that we also include welding quality management system as a part of 
yen 1090. While some other companies, they do it separate. That is validating quality management system and EN 1090 separately and issue two certificates. It depends upon the company or the certification company or certification body who actually they are issued to. Why do we require 3834? The documents of high quality of your welded products for your customer through a certification of your company in accordance with ISO 3834. That means that they, they actually uh, highlight that product is of a high quality of welding product. That if the company is actually certified ISO 3834, it implies that they are providing product of very high quality. This standard sets the quality requirement for the factory, which determines the quality assurance principles of the welded product. And with this, high quality of your product is already guaranteed. Means the company, if it is certified for ISO 3834, guarantees high quality, assur quality assurance principles, and the pr product is guaranteed for high quality product. Now, a few steps I'll just highlight uh, as an overview. When, what are the certification processes which are involved? In the first step, it is the level of requirements, whether you are going to apply level two, three, or four, which has to be decided and which will be verified by whom? Experts in the subsequent audits. On-site audit will be carried out and the decision will be taken that which uh, particular requirement will be applied. If the appropriate level of accreditation is implemented, say if it is two, three, or four has been implemented in the operation, the company will receive a certificate and which is issued with a maximum validity of three years. So if it is level two, level three, or level four accreditation uh, level of requirement has been given to a company, and it has been implemented on ground, and uh, then certificate, which is valid for three years, is issued. The number of control audits during the period of validity depends upon the level of accreditation. If it is level two, then it, the uh, audits controls are much more. If it is three, a little lower, and on the basic, it's a very, very lower. Certification process means the inspection staff will review on the site how the requirement of 3834 are implemented in the company. Scope inspection criteria are dependent on the level of accreditation. So the quality management system must be installed and operative in the company. So this UMS should be there and we should be functional. There is a welding supervisor, which is very, very important person in the company who has got the extensive knowledge in the area of design and manufacturing and testing of welding component, such as international welding engineer. And this welding supervisor has to be certified as by ISO 14731. He should be actually certified and coming to the welders also, the welder should have also a welder certification as per the ISO 9606, that is for the aluminum. And if it is one, it is for the ferrous metal. And also the operator should be actually qualified and certified. And if you are giving the uh, inspection services like NDT or DT, then you should have a person who is a certified welding inspect, uh, personnel, should also be there uh, of a level two. So you should have a supervisor, the welders, operators, and certified welding inspection personnel, which should be actually qualified and certified. What is EN 1090? The part one is regarding the requirement for conformity assessment of structural component, and part two is basically the technical requirement just for your overview. The quality inspector, that is QA, quality assurance and quality control. The companies involved in fabrication of structural metal work by welding needs to have a quality control inspector or welding 
to provide. So what, what is quality insurance? QA is, what is QA? It's a basically process-based approach, whereas a quality control is a product-based approach. The quality QA is a quality assurance inspector meant for the maintaining of the quality of the product, whereas the QC, quality control inspector, is for the product and material. Gentlemen, we are the certification body for the ISO 3834 and uh, any companies who is looking for the certification of this process uh, for the quality are most welcome to contact us. The numbers have been given here. And along with that, we also carry out uh, webinars for the welding or any course desired by any company, corporates or individuals. Uh, they can share their names, email ID, and mobile numbers to us, and we'll get, get in touch with you. And uh, you can attend our courses, our webinars. That's all for today. And uh, good day and goodbye. And uh, hope that you like the contents and please subscribe the channel if you had the information was of some use. Thank you very much.